Okay, good morning, welcome to Awesome Math number 135A. Awesome Math number 135A. So we started a new chapter today and we're talking about uh, non-square non, uh, roots of numbers that aren't perfect squares. Yeah. So we like things like the square root of 9 because that equals 3. 3. And we like things like the square root of 36 because that equals 6. And we love things like the square root of 100 because that is 10. 10. And our favorite thing in the whole world is the square root of 289, because that is 17. 17, things like that. These are great. Yeah. But other numbers are not perfect squares, like 2, for example, is not a perfect square. And so we're trying to understand the square root of 2. Mm -hmm. You want to put your pondering face on? Hmm, what could the square root of 2 be? What could it be? Mm -hmm. Is it an integer? Hmm. Well, it's between, well, it would be, well, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. It's between 1 and 2. So it can't be an integer. Sorry, I got distracted. 1 squared is 1. Yep. The next integer is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So it can't be an integer. So we said before that that must mean that 1 is less than the square root of 2, which has to be less than 2. That's what we talked about in the yeah. last section. So square root of 2 cannot be an integer. No. So that's a surprise. And this was a surprise to the Greeks, for example, mm. who discovered the square root of 2 lives in a square of side length 1. We'll talk about this some other time. But if you have a square of side length 1, yeah. the diagonal is, square of two. is the square root of 2. Hmm. So they said, hey, this number comes up, and this uses something called the Pythagorean Theorem. Have you ever heard of the Pythagorean Theorem? Well, you could split this up on a triangle, so it tells us those triangles. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then the Pythagorean Theorem tells you how to calculate this. So they knew how to calculate it. Yeah. But this is a very strange number to them. They said, what is the square root of 2? Hmm. hmm. We know it's there, that's the length of that uh, diagonal of the square. But what is it? It's not an integer. Mm. So the next thing they tried to wonder is, could it be a fraction? Mm. So let's try to see if it could be a fraction. Okay? Mm. Okay. 